Good morning and welcome for mathematics lesson. Today we are going to handle similarity and enlargement. We are given that two tanks are similar in shape. The capacity of the tanks is 1 million liters and 512,000 liters respectively. Then part A says, find the height of the smaller tank if the larger is 300 centimeters tall. Remember to subscribe to this channel and to also share the link with your friends. Okay, we are given two capacities and we should understand that when two capacities are related or two volumes or two masses, these quantities give us what we call volume scale factor. Therefore, in this case, we can calculate what we call volume scale factor by relating the two capacities. whereby we will get a simplest ratio when divided of 125 divided by 64. 112, 125 divided by 64. This one, in case we take the cube root, because we usually say that linear scale factor is obtained by the cube root of volume scale factor, then we will obtain the cube root or the third root of 125 divided by 64 and this is going to give us this is going to give us 5 out of 4 therefore this one is the linear scale factor now if we have linear scale factor then we can relate the two heights so that you may obtain the height of the smaller tank. So, 5 takes a height which is 300. What about 4? The smaller tank. So, this will take 4 by 300 out of 5. And this will give us 240 centimeters. So, this one is the height of the smaller tank. Remember, we have said that the linear scale factor equals to 5 out of 4. So this means now we can get area scale factor so that we operate part B which says calculate the surface area of the larger tank if the smaller tank has a surface area of 1,200 meters cubed. Therefore, in this case now, it means using area scale factor, then we can have the square of linear scale factor, which means we are squaring 5 over 4, and this gives us 25 out of 16. 25 out of 16, yes. So now with area scale factor, then we can obtain area of a known tank. This means because the smaller tank, which means 16 now, is having 1,200, then 25, we'll take 25, multiplied by 1,200, then this will divide by 16. And this one will give 1875 meters squared. Therefore, this is the surface area of the bigger tank. Finally, we are given to calculate the mass of the smaller tank, given that the mass of the larger is 800 kilograms. Now, with this mass, it means we will get back to what we call volume scale factor for us to interact with masses. Therefore, again, we get back to volume scale factor, which was the first thing to calculate. And this was 125 out of 64 in its simplest form. So with this volume scale factor and we're given that of the larger, it means 125 is taking 800. So we can check what 64 will have. 800 by 64 divided by 129. When you compute this one, you get 409. 0.6 kilograms. So this one is going to be the mass of the smaller tank. 
Thank you for following. Subscribe and share this link.